एक्सरसाइज क्लास सिक्स सब्जेक्ट जनरल साइंस चैप्टर नंबर फर्स्ट नेचुरल रिसोर्सेस एयर वॉटर एंड लैंड क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट फिल इन द ब्लैंक्स ए द लेयर ऑफ ओजोन गैस एब्सॉर्ब्स डैश डैश रेज दैट कम फ्रॉम द सन टू द अर्थ अल्ट्रावायोलेट बी of the total water available on the earth fresh water forms dash dash percent 0.3 c both dash dash and dash dash constituents are present in the soil abiotic and biotic question second why is it said that a the ozone layer is a protective shell of the earth answer Ultraviolet rays of the sun are very harmful for the living organisms present on the earth. The ozone layer absorbs these harmful radiations and protects life. Therefore, the ozone layer is called a protective shell of the earth. B. Water is life. Answer. Living organisms cannot survive without water. the blood of the animals and sap of the plants also have high proportion of water therefore water is said to be life c sea water is useful even though it is not potable answer there are many aquatic organisms in the sea water fishery is an important occupation which is dependent on seeds salt iodine other minerals and pearls are obtained from the sea due to evaporation of sea water the water cycle remains operative question 4 match the following group a first carbon dioxide second oxygen third water vapor fourth microbes group b a generation of soil b rain c plants and food production d combustion now we will see correct answers first carbon dioxide its answer is plants and food production second oxygen its answer is combustion third water vapor its answer is rain and fourth microbes its correct answer is generation of soil question 5 name the following a constituents of biosphere answer animals and plants b biotic constituents of soil answer microbes insects rodents like rats and mice c fossil fuel answer petrol diesel kerosene d inert gases in air answer argon helium neon krypton xenon e gases that are harmful to the ozone layer answer chlorofluorocarbons carbon tetrachloride Question six: True or false? A. Land and soil are the same thing. False. B. The water in the lakes is called groundwater. False. C. It takes about one thousand years to form a twenty-five centimeter thick layer of soil. False. D. Radon is used in decorative lights. False. Question seven. Answer in your own words. A. Explain with the help of a diagram how soil is formed. Answer. Soil is formed by the natural process. Heat, cold, and the rainwater cause weathering of the bedrock. This weathering process forms stones. sand and soil from the original rock this supplies the abiotic components of the soil microbes worms 
insects and rodents further adds to the process of soil formation the roots of big trees that grow on land also are weathering agents all these factors cause soil formation in a very slow and continuous way b why is there a shortage of water even though it occupies about 71% of the earth's surface answer 97% of this water is salty water of the sea this water cannot be used for agriculture or for drinking cooking etc some fresh water is in frozen state due to tremendous increase in population the demand for water is also rising so that there is always a water shortage even though the 71% of earth surface is occupied by water c what are the various constituents of air write their uses answer different constituents of the air gases such as nitrogen oxygen carbon dioxide nitrogen dioxide sulfur dioxide inert gases such as argon helium neon krypton and xenon other inclusions such as water vapor smoke fog smog soot etc now we will see uses of constituents of gases in the air gases uses nitrogen nitrogen helps in building up proteins in living beings also used in production of ammonia and air tight packaging of food stuffs second oxygen oxygen is essential for respiration and combustion third carbon dioxide carbon dioxide is used for photosynthesis in plants also it is used in fire extinguishers fourth argon argon used in electric bulbs fifth helium helium used in obtaining low temperatures and generating lift in airships sixth neon neon used in decorative lights and street lighting seventh krypton krypton used in fluorescent tubes eighth xenon xenon used in flash photography d why are air water and land considered to be valuable natural resources answer all the essential things required for the survival of all living organisms are obtained through air water or land therefore air water and land are considered to be valuable natural resources now we will see other questions from the textbook observe the picture alongside and answer the questions first where do we see the birds answer we see the birds flying in the sky near the horizon second where is the cow grazing answer the cow is grazing in the meadow third locate the trees and the road answer the trees and the road are seen on land fourth where does the river come from how does it flow answer the river comes flowing down from the mountain towards the land fifth where is the aeroplane answer the aeroplane is in the sky sixth where are the fishes seen answer the fishes are seen swimming in the water seven on what is the sailboat floating answer the sailboat is floating on water can you recall what are the five layers of the atmosphere answer the troposphere stratosphere mesosphere ionosphere and exosphere are the five layers of the atmosphere observe and discuss what is the similarity in the three pictures below answer all the above pictures show large scale emission of smoke through different agencies 
which causes air pollution. Use your brain power. What would have happened if there were no air on the earth? Answer. If there is no air on the earth, the life will come to an end. Also, if air is not there, there will be no atmosphere. So, there will not be gravitational force, air pressure, etc. Observe and discuss. Water available on earth percentage. First one, seas, oceans, 97%. Now, 2.7%. What is it? Frozen water and ground water is 2.7%. Third one, Water available for drinking, that means fresh water is 0.3%, total 100%. Find out, in what ways is the water in seas and oceans useful even though it is salty? Answer, there are many aquatic organisms in the seawater. Fishery is an important occupation which is dependent on sea. Salt, iodine, other minerals and pearls are obtained from the sea. Also, due to evaporation of seawater, the water cycle remains operative. All these facts explain to us that though seawater is salty, it is useful. Can you tell? First, what is land made up of? Answer, land is made up of soil, rocks, stone, etc. Second, what do you see on this land? Answer, mountains, valleys, rivers, oceans can be seen on the land. We can see buildings and other constructions, bridges, roads. Also, we can see farms and orchards and some tree cover. Third, what has man created on land? Answer, Man has created different types of shelters, roads for transport and agricultural farms on the land. 4. If a deep pit is dug in the ground, what do you find there? Answer. We see different layers of soil if a deep pit is dug in the ground. 5. Is land flat everywhere? Answer. No. Land is and even at some places there are mountains and hills while at some places there are valleys. 6. Does man produce soil or land? Answer. Man can artificially produce land by reclamation. Use your brain power. What are the constituents of soil? Classify them as biotic and abiotic constituents. Answer. The particles of soil, sand, rocks and stones, etc. are the abiotic constituents of soil. The biotic constituents are microbes, bacteria, unicellular protozoans, fungi, algae, small insects like ants, worms, earthworms, etc.